And Phil Neville and this inner Miami side looking to improve their playoff scenario coming into tonight's match in ninth place. Kickoff tonight is brought to you by Proven IT. We invite you to turn off the world and turn on the game. We're playing for three points here. Tehran. Your favorite two minutes in. Launched in, and Marsman makes a play on it. And able to catch it in the end, but that's Carlos Tehran heaving the ball a mere 50 yards. Yeah, if you're going to do it. Perennial playmaking skills when he is on the field. Good looking delivery straight at John Duran. It's Sekulich, and it's off the bar. First real chance of the evening, and Boris Sekulich absolutely rocking the woodwork. So many players in the box here. It bounces to Sekulich. Yeah, I think it's Iguain here that gets in the way. Well, it certainly is. I saw that early on. I wasn't sure if it... Pineda with some room to operate. Able to rig Gregory for a moment. He'll back towards John Duran, and he took it on the first time, claiming it took a deflection on the way. Miguel Navarro. Gutierrez. Now it's Shakiri on the turn, and it took a deflection on the way through, and it's another goal-saving deflection at that. This time, I believe, it was Chris McVay. By Duran, and it was Mueller in that particular play we were talking about. When you get to the top of the box, it's one thing. Cheap giveaways to the feet of Gonzalo Higuain are not something that Ezra Hendrickson's going to be pleased with, and Matt Conger just awarding the free kick, nothing more. Duran did really well to adjust his body and lay it off for Mueller. Shakiri will take over. Gutierrez. Now Sekulic. Delivery is a good one for Duran, and the Fire finally have their goal. It's taken more than 400 to Shakiri here. Ball played into Gutierrez in a little bit. He's in a pocket of space here. And we see the deflection on the cross, but that's a better run. You see John Duran in between two defenders, but you will see a deflection on the Sekulich cross right there. It gets over the defender's head. And right to Duran as he buries this one to make it 1-0. Here's your look good, game good replay from Gillette. This is going to come in with some pace. And he goes for Taylor. Yeah, surprised by that. Wide into the hands of Slonina, so they were using Iguain's. Certainly been knocking on the door a heck of a lot more than Inter Miami, but we'll see if the second half brings something different in this fourth all time meeting between the two clubs. Tyler Terrence along with U.S. Soccer Hall of Famer Tony Meal. Shouts for a handball, but it looked like Chris McVay had done everything that he needed to do to avoid that call. And John Duran had one thing on his mind as he turned, right? That was a shoot. He'll shoot again, and this time it's smothered by Marsman. Yeah, this is a good hole here by Marsman. This has a little bit of venom on it, this shot. Good spaces to play into. Sekulich. Gutierrez, clever little touch around Sailor, tries to peel it back for John Duran. That would have been something really special if the Colombian could have gotten his brace. Gutierrez. Through the legs of Malta. Pineda. Gets out of trouble. All the way across. It falls for Shakiri. The Swiss International back onto the score sheet. And he doubles the Fires lead. Well, we're just talking about killing off this game here. And we said it's either got to go 2-0 or they're going to have to defend for their lives this entire second half. Time and time again I talk about the little things that he does. Pineda here gets stuffed up here, makes a little move gets to the end line here hammers it across, DeAndre Edden can't clear it great work by Mauricio Pineda here and then Shakiri staring at goal on that cultured left foot but again I go back to this work by Mauricio Pineda for your look good, game good, Gillette replay, which ends up in the back of the net. Shakiri gets around Sailor, really opens things up. Can the fire put this one to bed? Chris Mueller goes for the curler and doesn't miss it by much. Posuelo, was he fouled by Federico Navarro? Yes. And Federico Navarro knows it here. It's just banging his head on the ground. 
until it comes back to the ground. Poor clear, poor clearance on the header. You see Navarro on the wrong side of this Pozuelo year. 2020 MLS MVP feels the pressure, goes down, earns the penalty kick. And designated player hailing from Argentina, Gonzalo Higuain. And it's Higuain who wins out, and Inter Miami all of a sudden have an interest in this one. Tenth goal of the season, sends Lonina the wrong way. Goes a little bit early, and Higuain with his quality from the penalty spot generally hits. You can see how early Gaga goes down to his left, and for a player of his quality, he pulls it back. But Yedlin will keep it in the neighborhood. Aggressive step from Miguel Navarro, and it pays off. Through for John Duran. 2v1 with Shakir if he plays this correctly. Duran, all by himself, and the Colombian puts this one to bed. It's a brace for the 18-year-old, and three points in the back for Chicago. on the end of this play here good read here great ball played in by Navarro now Duran's off to the races look at Shakiri to your right this is a key run here to pull the defender Duran continues to go forward and we've seen that same finish a few times this season John Duran makes it 2-1 cleverly played by Bornstein Looked like an intentional handball there on the far side after a really cheeky flick from John Duran. This may come down to playing New England in the end, and that would be a great night, right, if you had to do that. And it was a great night indeed here in Bridgeview, Illinois, as the fire put an end to a streak that saw them winless in five matches. John Duran with a brace.